last time on Boss Level. Back then we were young and on a fry. Did you get stung by a bee? <laughs> sometimes rally, sometimes brilliant. Her. Sometimes <laughs> just stupid, but always really to live my careful. Sound like Steve Martin doing Pink Panther. <laughs> did, did one of the stray bullets from the Nintendo Hit Squad hit your jaw? Wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our corner of the internet. This is Boss Level, oh, wow. the most vicious video game show of all time, and we are playing Monster Prom. I am one of your hosts this evening. I am the Eldritch Abomination of your dreams, Tara Morgan, and I'm joined to my left. I am a nightmare demon from the Hell Dimension, reigning over your worst dreams. Long my I name is Lucius. Long Island. <laughs> yeah, Long Island. And to my right. I'm an African fire, instead of a Greek one. No, 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 instead of a Greek one. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Did I just hear a baby cry in the music? Yeah. No, probably it is probably our neighbors. Okay, I'm Nate. And... I'm a female chicken. But wow. I'm missing a proper place to wipe my feet before entering a house. Hen without mats. Okay. You know what? That's fine. That's funny. You know what? Fine. That's funny. You pick who you want to slam dunk at lunch. I'm gonna get some water. Okay. Who do you think I want to slam dunk at lunch? Who do you think I'm fucking? You arrive at your chosen table to find Damien dejectedly hefting a bowl of mashed potatoes while Polly sadly passes her hand through the same. Seriously? What do we have to do to get a food fight started in this cafeteria? Jesus Christ, Damien, you overdressed asshole. I honestly do not know. I tried throwing potatoes at people and yelling food fight, but I think everyone is too scared of me to fight back. And I can't throw any food because of my stupid ghost hands. Plates, mirrors, antique furniture, sure, but not food. Kill the food. It's gotta be a way to provoke a food war. My dads are always telling me to be more political. But we're not political! Your strength is hitting things, and my strength is being unbelievably hot all the time! Unbelievably hot. That's it. We'll set the cafeteria on fire. Okay! Oh, oh yeah. We, we're gonna kill motherfuckers! My dad said I should get more political. I don't believe the mashed potatoes deserve rights. Wow! Wait, no, it's not a solution. <laughs> That's just arson. Why do I always refer to arson? Is it because you're demon? <laughs> demon? He's pretty serious. He's pretty serious, I think. That fucking pasta is stealing our jobs. Wow. The, hey. rhubar the rhubarb's crossing the Narrator. border illegally. Hey, Italian, hey, do you want to... Oh, you want Kyle to be Italian for this one? Go ahead. It's a hot... Mm. Wait, uh, <laughs> I want to see, see, see if I can mix them. It came in so It's bra. because... Kyle's Italian. Kyle's Italian is like, yeah, fuck all the pasta. It's a hot as much, much... <laughs> see, see, I can either do one voice and read, or two voices. Okay. I can't do two voices okay, and read. Okay, one voice and read, you got it. It's so hard to watch them struggle through by this, by... God damn it, I'm right. It's hard to watch them struggle through this by themselves, so step and watch the idea of your own. Close enough, that's like an 80% accuracy. Okay, which war-related thing would you like to go with? War to fight over scarce resources, steals everybody's food to put them in a pile, that ought to do it. Or... Hey, Polly, you know the Greeks fought a whole war over Helen of Troy's face? We just need to get kidnapped by Trojans. Uh, this is a who would like what check rather than a stat check. Yeah. yeah. So what does so, Damien like? I think it's either mm. you... Do you like resource denial or... Resource denial or being kidnapped by condoms. Name of my new right. band. <laughs> you think there's a condom big you enough know you what? could kidnap someone with it? Like For you just stretch it life. open like a net and just snatch them up. <laughs> For once in my life, I'm not gonna play for serious. You could definitely- I was right anyway. <laughs> you could definitely kidnap a baby with a big enough condom. I mean, yeah, that's that's the point of condoms. What are we talking no, about? Like, the point like, of condoms is to put a no, bunch like, of babies no, no, into like a, a sack. Like a fully cooked baby, not like hey, the raw hey, ones. Glad I caught you. <laughs> fully, yes. fully cooked baby. Yeah, not like a raw one. Not like baby tartare, like an actual, <laughs> like, Fully baked baby, you could like, you could like be driving by and just open up a really big condom. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Every time someone is in someone's stomach, growing, it's like, yeah, we opened up Boston Market East, rotisserie chicken, rotisserie babies. 
Uh, Nate? You understand? Nate, I don't think baby's grow in the stomach. Oh, it's I... in the uterus. Okay, yeah, that's that's fair. Well, I meant you, I meant the well, stomach region. They're in the not stomach like the, after you eat them. Wow, I meant the stomach region, not not the you know the actual uh, stomach. Anyway, yeah, baby's growing today. in the stomach acid. <laughs> yeah. It's trial by fire. <laughs> trial by fire. I thought it was trial by acid. So that's when you swallow somebody's no. nut. Then that's <laughs> Little do you know, one of the things then, one of the things that changes during pregnancy is actually your stomach acid turns to fire. It's oh, just it. it's just green fire you, for nine yeah. months. I've yet to take and a baby after that survived. Nine, after nine months, you shit out a child. <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's where babies come from. <laughs> okay. Whoa, is that, is that what politics is? <laughs> is this politics? Eating people up and putting their stuff in a big pile? Yes! I didn't know I was already so good at politics. And then, I can roll around in the food pile. It'll feel so good on my non-skin. Damien spends the rest of lunch piling everybody's food into an enormous food mountain. Bird, motherfucker. Hungry students are soon swarming the mountain, trying to grab what they can, while Damien pelts them with fire and knives from above. <laughs> I love this. I don't know why that's really funny to me. In a panic, the students turn to each turn on each other, fighting with the only weapon they have: the food in their hands. <laughs> food fight! Food fight! I think a fight like this is how I die. I think Kyle just died. <laughs> the casualties are beyond counting, but no one will be forgetting that food fight anytime soon. Except the people that died. Wait, what, what happened to me? We, we chose the order, remember? Yeah. No. It's a new turn order. Oh. because. Of remember the when we were talking about animals becoming friends with cats? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And nobody oh, that's for turn order, yeah. Yeah, your dolphin didn't win. The, 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 the dolphin didn't. Did you just take my spot at, at her table? There's another chair. There's only one. No, nah, you can only do one per thing. Oh? <laughs> kind my of a God. bitch. Oh, kind of a bitch move there, Nate. I'm First sorry. you fuck my boyfriend, and then you want to fucking steal did, my fictional date as well. Did Thanks, I Nate. Did I do, did I do that first thing? <laughs> did I now? <laughs> did I? You're playing Damien. It's not like Zoe and Miranda weren't always the perkiest of gals, but they seem extra perky as they skitter around writing things down in the book. You know what? Fuck my beats. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, I thought there were two seats. Well, you were fucking wrong. Please press the A button. I know it was so little. Doubtless you were admiring our great work, Nadia. You see, we are now food critics. Zoe's hired me for her magazine. Totally a real food magazine. <laughs> Hit him not. Uh, uh, I didn't know you was listening that, sorry. Okay, uh, well, okay. I've, I've only taken the narrator oh, yeah, so far. That's true. It's an honor to have you on board, your highness. I don't know why she went southern. It's an honor, your highness. Zoe holds up a bunch of papers stapled together with a doodles of crayons that seem to be Eldritch runes. I think I said that right. Eldritch. Eldritch yeah. Uh, runes. Eldritch. With some sparkly scratch and sniff sticker stuck up top. If you are quiet and subservient, you may watch us in our quest to be the best food, food, food critics ever. I was a little hesitant, found it. No, that's not the right voice. I was a little hesitant. God. <laughs> Why is she southern? I don't know, but it's the only I way I can get this. What you going to have? I was a little hesitant about finding this very legitimate magazine. Since I'm, <laughs> I'm trying, damn I'm it! Sorry, my favorite thing is your tuning arts for every yeah, voice that you tuning, do. Yeah, the tuning key for this one is you just turning off to the side, away from the microphone, and going ha. <laughs> <laughs> I love all of Kyle's videos, Brandy, the voices that we do on this channel. All of them are awesome. Ha! <laughs> 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 Hello, I was a little hesitant about founding this legitimate magazine since I'm new to eating things of other minds and souls. <laughs> and I usually have my uh, eating serfs eat for me. But then Zoe and I realized we were the absolute best food critics according to our test audience. There were tears in my eyes for a second, so you said eat for me, I thought you said eat for me. <laughs> eat Which for was me? comprised of Miranda's food serves. <laughs> Which was comprised of Miranda's food serves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> now watch us create culinary <laughs> criticism magic. First up, macaroni and cheese. Jeez. This is, this isn't this has just gone so far away from southern. Uh, this food item contains both macaroni and cheese, 
and therefore deserves five stars for this accurate description. <sighs> Next, couscous with vegetables. Right. I've never tried it, and pieces <laughs> seem way too small to even register in my many mouths. Uh, maybe. I won't try it either, uh, but the name sounds very fancy. So, five stars! Here is this microwave! Uh -huh. Ah, yes! It's very shiny and very cubic shaped, <laughs> which are both good qualities for food. Five stars! Five stars! Here are some french fries. They don't seem to be particularly French. No, it's great that we have something funny to distract from both my real and fictional love interests getting taken away from me in one fell swoop. But they don't seem particularly unfranch either. Oh dear, how will we ever determine their franchosity? Ask them to fight a war. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's your specialty. Easy! That's for your specialty! <coughs> All right. So you should give a French fries and French kids worthy of the most ever fruit from the French fr French fictionists to check out how good they are at French kissing and therefore calculate their French house today. Oh, you okay? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was the cue for someone else to read that one. Oh, Miranda. <laughs> we gotta get better get communication on this show. Sorry. Uh, do you want to take it? No, you can take it. Okay, Miranda. You already I'll took be... everything else from her. <laughs> yeah, why leave me anything, really? Okay. I'll take it. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> you. Hey, Nate, do you want this line too? <laughs> Miranda, obviously you're the most qualified to determine this. The only way to establish Frenchosity is to actually go to France. Just send an eating surf over to check it out. Okay. I don't even know who's playing anymore. <laughs> oh, look, she's, she's interested okay. in you, motherfucker. Um, hey. <laughs> you motherfucker. Hey. How did I'm you just know about my French being spooky? I'm gonna go work on the thumbnail for this episode. <laughs> How I'm gonna go you... work on myself, cause maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> How did you know about my French theme spooky? This is the title of the episode. You. Tara loses everything. <laughs> I love you. Play Monster Obelis. <laughs> oh yeah, number one fan, you bitch. You are truly my number one fan. Hi, Janati. Kyle's getting close to me in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Uh... <gasps> if by number one you mean... <laughs> wow, that went, went a little too Gilbert God for that. If by number one fan she means trying to get in her vagina on prom night, then sure! I got you. When did she become Joan Rivers? Joan Rivers' vagina is so dry! Joan Rivers' vagina is an eldritch horror. <laughs> Joan Rivers' vagina. <laughs> if you find them to be sufficiently good kissers, my eldritch compatriot, I will join you in this endeavor. Oh, Nate's taking the Gilbert impression too. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I get nothing. For me when my I lose everything. Along, provided I am not in an enchanted slumber at the time. I really feel like people shouldn't be kissing people in any kind of slumber. Well, but the more that's Kyle a goes with his voice, the more this might be a good thing. So. so I'm just going to make out with a fried potato now. The more Kyle does his voice, the more the fucking voice follows the North Star into the <laughs> Union States. <laughs> she does. Yeah, by the end of it, this that voice is gonna have rights. <laughs> by the end of this, that voice is gonna die to all of New York. <laughs> that's where Harry and Tubman die. Oh, I was just saying that out. Wow. What Next time on civil rights level. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, can you draw that one up, please? Five stars! Five stars! And Nadia, maybe you and I can work on other kissing adventures sometime. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I just... Shit, wait, just... that's the wrong character to purr. Heck yeah! <laughs> Glad one of my friends is playing Splatoon. Oh! Are you okay? You okay? Oh, hold on, too, with the controller. Oh, oh, God. God. Heck yeah, and you do. It's called giving butterfly kisses to honey roasted butterflies to determine that butterfly placa. Okay. Butas. Bata, bata. Sure. Oh, that fuck. Was, do you want me to legendary. pretend to have things? Sure. <laughs> that was legendary. You that was legendary. You could buy something at the shop. Oh, yeah, I could buy something at the shop, like a big old dildo to go you fuck do myself. That. You should do that. You fuck should myself? Sure. You should Give buy something like at the shop. Shop. 
You could go, you could go hit on the couch. Fuck yeah! Oh shit. Good old Vicky. What's it going to be today? Um, gratuitous noises. Um, uh... Just boost your stats, or the gift is just something random that can either boost stats or minus stats. Uh, that Bob Ross. That is Bob Ross. The two things label events start different events. Alright, um... After some intense deliberation that needed to be edited out because it was so intense, <laughs> I'm gonna get a gift. Yeah. It's either gonna be gift. really great or really See? terrible. I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs giving. Kyle just yeah. erupted in sexual energy. Oh, wow. They, oh, fuck oh, yeah, hi. dude. He will make That's you why. laugh. What the fuck? What? Damn. What? The gifts are either really fucking good or really fucking bad, and there's no It will no make you between. laugh big time. It's a very good salad. Mm. I at least I have something delicious right, to eat Kyle's on as my life part. gets taken away from me. I accidentally stole Tara's, um, Tara's part Everything. Who are you gonna and do, And then Tara's got all the stats. I don't know. I can't Your cuddle are with my Scott, stats Liam, at night. Your options are Scott, Liam, or Calculester. <laughs> I can't hug my stats as I drift off to sleep. I can't marry my stats. I thought you said jerk off to sleep. I can't do that either. I have any idea how much stats hurt if you put them up in your Look at your stats, oh. though. Look at them. I don't care. I pulled care. them up on I don't, the screen I don't right care. Now. I don't care. You could date anybody you wanted. Oh, really? That'd be crazy if I had a seat at the table with them! Slash J, come here. <laughs> Slash J, come here. You know that, right? She'd be yelling at Nadia. I'm just a nightmare demon. <laughs> Nadia's the one who stole your spot. That one. Not this one, that one. <laughs> Vera is spending her lunch paid scheming, as usual. Calculesta looks on in a mechanical approximation of the smack. Do you good? Ky Kyle keeps taking the end of this to go into like a Nikki lyric. <laughs> <laughs> the islands of Waikiki. Yep. I don't voice either of these characters. I believe that was you, Tara. I believe you got. Oh shit. Um, yeah, you, you do actually. Or calculester. Now, <laughs> if I can just get the poison into the next shipment of cafeteria food. The starving students will be forced to pay me inflated prices for my authentic food flakes. Vera! No. Do not do this. That one's got really nice tits. Damn. Vera? Calculesta. Oh. oh. <laughs> Where? <laughs> what tits are we looking at? Uh, who are kids? Your turn. Uh, both of them have oh. tits, I guess. Why? Have you determined that it's unprofitable? No. Are you looking for a cut? Negative. Are you a RoboCop? You have to tell me if you're a RoboCop. Well, no. I am not a law officer, but what you are planning to do is wrong. <sighs> hmm. Agree to disagree. Error. Cannot comply with internally contradictory instructions. Meltdown imminent. Ah, uh, the, the joy, the, the, oh, the A button is gone. Well. Where did the con go? That was impressive. <laughs> Managed to lose that. Uh oh, this could get ugly. You need to chill calculus out. Or convince Je the Vera to change her ways. I, I know your name. I think, I think calming calculus down is infinitely easier. Don't worry, Cal, there is just being helpful. Sure, the poison may kill some people, but those who survive will be more resilient to the poison in the future, resistant to the poison in the future, or whatever. Okay, so guess like Cal, or... Calculus said, right, Vera, I mean, you didn't even check to see if your poison is vegan-friendly. Who are we gaslighting? Who would you rather gaslight, Kyle? Um... Rather, rather gaslight Vera? <laughs> well, I have a thing against AI, so, uh... Wow. I want to piss off Calculus. Alright, fair. So, Don't wait, worry. which one would that be? We always... Calculester gets no love. Calculester gets hope. Calculester didn't get love on air. There we go. Don't perfect. give up right now. It appears I misunderstood your intentions, Vera. You are doing this for medical reasons. Is Vera committing eugenics? If I am, <laughs> can I write off the poison as a tax deduction? I think it's more like survival of the fittest. According to taxfraudforcriminals.com, yes. <laughs> then yes. 
This changes everything. Congratulations on your ethical behavior. Yeah. The fuck you know about S. Several people to the U.S. government right now. <laughs> yes, I am the greatest. Vera clearly appreciates you for your quick thinking. Maybe she'll even give you a cut of her inflated fruit profits. Profits. Let's, Let's trade, trade places. places. Everybody chooses something cool. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before click on. Yep. All right, something cool. Skateboards. Some, something cool. You going skateboard? Skateboards are cool. Dry ice. That is cool. I'm not sure if this will translate well. I'm going to keep... No. No, do it. Full send. Please, full send. We're going to have to cut a metric fuck ton out of this episode anyway. I was just going to up say sex with transgender people. Oh! Cool. I agree. <laughs> it's cool. You're also my assholes. <laughs> oh, because I win? At all of my relationships? Oh, no. Yes. The fucking... Oh, because oh. I win? No. Uh, yeah, I got your boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I hope. I was gonna say edgy. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Play artists decided based on how awesome it would be. Oh, oh vending vending machine. Skateboard vending machine. <laughs> Skateboard vending machine number one. Edging ending machine. Ed vending machine number two. Uh, edging. mine for number three and Nate's number four for stealing my significant other. <laughs> what? what was yours, Tim? <laughs> Dry ice. Fuck off. If Japan had a. <laughs> Bending machine that just gave you sex with transgender people. This one would be a better place. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. What am I gonna say to that? I need. Yeah, but if the word. if Japan built a vending machine for edging, you would just never get what you wanted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You were boss. Isn't most Japanese porn edging? I don't Excuse know. I don't usually me? watch Japanese. <laughs> Who the fuck runs security? I'm talking about anti. Huh. <laughs> I love, I Sorry, Octo Mom silence the right thing, there. As a the very matter of fact, while Lou was taking his turn, it's just like, yeah, I'm talking about hentai. I'm minding What's the business. deal with hentai? Right, you sorry. promised yourself you weren't using that pasta plate data now. Is this? Yet here you are again. No, is this a can, secret ending? I don't, I don't think so. You can see how stupid the whole thing is. Yet this plate of pa 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 oh, pa <laughs> pa 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 Looks way more delicious than loneliness. <laughs> Italians in the room. Did I say that right? Sure. Italians in the room. Hey, friend Oz, Oz. What are you Shit. doing? You have my arm. You uh, throw your phone away so no one can see it, you pastafarian. Damn. Oh, I mean, you could have told me nothing if you didn't want to talk about it. <sighs> the question was a mere particulary tactic to engage into conversation. Sounds like an STD. Yeah, not particularly. Because <laughs> we got antibiotics for that. You. What I really wanted to ask was if you're up for more wacky misadventures searching for the meaning of life. Why? N? You know, I would like to. Wait, wait, wait. We couldn't help but listen. Are you looking for the meaning of life? Oh, Christ. Yes! Then look no more. Oh, friend Miranda, and friend Liam, are you providing insight on this through very weird and probably inaccurate metaphors about oranges? I'm looking something up real quick, just because I'm curious. You can cut this, but I do need to look this up. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, B, A, select, B, A, B, A, select, start. Is B, A, B, A, start? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, B, A, select, start. Really? I thought it was, I thought it was B, A, start. I looked, I looked it up after, after I wrote 20, uh, um, and I was like, because it was a Konami code that we put in. Okay, I'm officially on Calculester's route. Um, I'm okay. going after Calculester now. What? <laughs> this is a secret ending. After all, Calculus is a secret ending. Yeah, this Calculester is, is that. This old. is a secret ending. If you if you were like, I don't. If want any to. of you touch Damien with. I don't want to be here. I didn't choose this life. Well, now you can. Well, now you can. Now you can get Damien. <laughs> No, I, I don't want Damien. This life. I don't want Damien. I don't want to be sloppy seconds to my boyfriend. <laughs> it's the second day. Go ahead. Can I read their line, please? Oh, I read that already. <laughs> oh. Then hang on. I don't want this ending, but I will go. go Fuck this guy. What? No. Life should be like an art. Should be like art. Close, man. Yes. 
I very much agree. You put a spoon up your ass. Damn. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? It's like art when you put a spoon up your ass. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. Uh, I don't remember studying that in school. Value. Useless unless until more information is provided. I did. If you, what defines art? If you put a spork up your ass, does that count as modern art? What? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, you take it out and it's Jackson Pollock. Art. <laughs> <laughs> nice mix of brown stop, and red. Stop me in my track. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a little bit of white on there for color. Yeah, if oh. you like it. <laughs> if you're into it. <laughs> well, art is an expression of oneself <laughs> That aspires to explore the monster condition through the embodiment of specific aesthetics that define the artist's worldview. At its peak, it achieves univers universality, mm -hmm. while also being the most personal and individual form of expression. A big middle finger from the artist to the status quo, as it ignores any convention or preconception. That's a very wordy definition, Liam. Don't listen to Liam, he uses too many words. My favorite statues, paintings, and books are the ones that are dedicated to me. So it's clear that art should be about me. None of those definitions build a clear parallel that throws light over the meaning of existence. Liam's definition of art revolves around exploring the monster condition, therefore the meaning of life. It creates a paradox, not optimal. And Miranda's definition states that the meaning of existence is... Miranda? That sounds about right. You're a stupid bitch. <laughs> That's the line. <laughs> oh, no way! You're all about satisfying your classmates. Uh. You just need to push one of them, these two, into further reflection. Push them. You're all about jerking off your classmates. <laughs> that wasn't in the script. Yeah, I know. You that... always angsty against the status quo, Liam. Tell us what the status quo did to you. What's the origin of this rivalry? Sure, art might be about Miranda, but what's Miranda about? Whatever the fuck that means. But what's what is Miranda? There are some very talented voice actors. It in this doesn't game. matter which I pick because I don't want to be on this route. All right, so pick your favorite. Oh. Flip a coin. It's heads. I want to hear more from Liam. What? Wait. I'm no longer on this route. Not so creative. You want me to tell an origin story? Yeah. That's so mainstream. Batman's parents died. Damn. What, was that a spoiler? Did yeah. you even not know that? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah dude, that. I didn't know what happened to the Wayne family. Did Batman's you... parents are dead? Next Did you're you gonna miss... tell me Uncle Ben dies. Did you miss it in the 96 version? Or Batman Begins? I thought you or were Or whatever talking... the fuck Ben Affleck was in? Or the Robert Pattinson ben, one? Ben Affleck. Or Spider-Man, which for some reason had Bruce Wayne's parents die? Oh, by the way, Bruce Wayne is Batman. What? Oh! I can't believe you just spoiled the entire thing what? for me. Why, it's even the point of boss level anymore. Next you're gonna tell me that Tony Stark is Iron Man. Next you're gonna tell me that that fucking beloved uncle from Spider-Man dies. I have terrible news. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Tara, sit down. We need to I talk. am sitting. Tara, stand up. Read the line. <laughs> Just do it. Uncle Can ben. I sit now? Yes. Uncle Ben dies. No! <laughs> you bitch! I think what Oz wanted to. What? What? <laughs> I think what Oz wanted was to know why you specifically have what you might call beef. <laughs> the concept of the status quo. Who told you I have beef? I tested negative for beef. I'm a vegan. No, no. I think he actually might be a vegan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Origin stories are too cliche. Origin stories are too cliche. You know it's not that cliche. <laughs> it's just the narrator's just mimicking him. No, we can do it. I have the suspicion we don't want to know. I <laughs> a bunch of rabbit eels. <laughs> yeah. Assessment. Bunches of rabbit eels are effectively not cliche, but the uncommonality <laughs> of it is probably due to the fact that it is a very, very bad idea. <laughs> no, I tend to find eels very trustworthy, but these ones are too rabid. What is she supposed to be? Like a sea monster? Like, oh, great. Mermaid? 
Yeah, she's the like mermaid princess. Y'all get electrocuted. No one is happy. You lose two fun minus one smock. I need more fun now. Wow, the yeah. narrator was mad you jumped off that conversation path. Oh, well. I kind of want to talk to my... Uh, who's up? Uh, in the auditorium, that's the shop. Everyone yeah. else is free to be. As I said, I just want to do funny voice acting, so I might... I might... My... Wanna go to the shop? I do, I love that, cause I want- I fuck Kyle's it. sexual nature is about to take over boss level again. Hey. Boy. <laughs> okay, hey. Kyle is hey. in my shit. Why would you study and prepare for the future when you can come here and buy all the weird shit instead? Am I right? Mm. Kyle jumped over the dresser to get you. <laughs> How much money do I have? Got five dollars. You, you got five dollars. I guess I buy the tampon. Fuck it. Oh, forgot about that. I'm okay. You can get the present. It's free. Yeah. Uh, yes, a sexy It'll fake Latinx. It'll be something accent. really good or something really terrible. Yeah. Oh, how? I love how the ones I can't buy say "too poor for this." Yeah. Just like real life. All right, I'll take my chances. All right. See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift gives. Giving gifts, gives gifts, giving gifts. gifts. Next time on Boss Level. Next time on Boss Level, we open this gift. If you like this episode, thank you so much. It means a lot that you took a chance on us. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It helps a lot. And if it, you really enjoyed it, send it to your favorite vendor of priceless presents. And if you didn't like it, yeah, go to hell. Steal someone's. <laughs> Steal someone's what? Girl. <laughs> wow, wow. Don't do that. I thought you were gonna say tampon, honestly. Oh, yeah. Steal, yeah. That's bad. Snatch. <laughs>